Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I created this simple natural look. I mean, it's not natural, but the eyes are like very like simple and like, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, a friend of mine wanted me to create something more natural and also some something for someone that has a small face. Well, obviously I don't have a small face as you can tell. I ain't got no small face. But I basically use products um, and I, I'm just showing you guys how I would, you know, put on makeup with someone that has a small face. So I didn't contour or that kind of stuff. But anyways, let me know what you think about this look. Let me know if you like this kind of look um, in the comment section below. Also tell me what you would like to see in my channel. You know, this is the new year. I'm trying to like revamp my channel. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see okay guys so let's get into the video so the first thing i did i just used my concealer to um, create an even base whenever i'm doing my eyeshadow i like to have an even base and then i'm using the juvia's place coffee shop palette i'm just using the dark brown shades here the light brown shades and then one of the shimmers i really like this palette um for some strange reason i feel like it's a little dry but um so far it's good juvia's place shadows are very pigmented um easy to work with i like this palette because i feel like you can this would be like your perfect everyday shade so i really liked how it turned out very simple look just an everyday quick look that you can do and then i'm just blending everything out and then i just put on my um sheen lashes that i got um that's what i'm doing and then i use my nyx angel veil primer this is still one of my best primers from the drugstore so if you haven't tried this out i would recommend this or the blurry now primer and then i use the i am magic foundation by juvia's place the original one i used 310 and i was like um this is not my shade because i don't know why i use burkina so i went in with gabon which is 300 and then that kind of blended everything out i'm usually my shade is Gabon with um Juvia's Place. So I just used that foundation. I'm going to be reviewing the new foundation from Juvia's Place. I just haven't gotten it yet, but I placed an order already. So you should be seeing a video out soon reviewing that that um foundation. And then yeah, just blending everything out. And this foundation is amazing, it has that velvety finish. And then I'm using the Makeup Revolution um, concealer in C13. This is just the perfect like um concealer shade for me i like it so much it wasn't drying as well so check out makeup revolution they do have some products it's usually a hit or miss with them and then i blended that out and then i used um the la girl pro conceal in warm honey and then i'm also using my milani um cream blush this was my first time using it and i so far like so far so good i love it it doesn't skip your makeup and then all we're going to do is just obviously blend that out. We're going to be blending, blending, blending. I'm going in with this, my small um, brush from Smashbox. I really like this because it gets really under my eyes and blends everything out. So I kind of like it. Mm. And then, yeah, I'm using the Pro Conceal um, Warm Honey just because I wanted that bright, brightened look kind of right by my eyes though. So, yeah, and you definitely want to try this Fit Me Powder like people sleep on this maybelline fit me powder but it's actually good it's very smoothing on the skin and then this was my first time using the um loose powder initially i <clears throat> initially i had the loose powder years ago but i didn't like it and then i decided to try it out and i was like whoa and then i'm going in with one of my ColourPop blushes you can find this at ulta as well um, most of the products that i use here you can find at ulta or target or walmart um, I'm using the Beauty Bakery blush. This one you can find at Target. So, and I think it was like 10 bucks. It's really pigmented, as you can tell. Like, I packed a lot of blush. And, um, yeah, I, I did that for, for a purpose because I wasn't going to be contouring and all that stuff. So, I wanted to just, you know, add some color back to my skin. And then, obviously, you know me and my highlighter. So, I used the ColourPop highlighter. This is with the Twinkle, Tinkle, Tinkle Bell collection. I don't know if you can get this, but they have, like um highlighters with a uh, color pop too at, at ulta so check that out wisp is one of my favorite highlighters and then oh i'm out of breath and then i'm using my <laughs> juvia's place um cola lip liner it's one of like the perfect brown lip liners for nude and then i use my milani um lipstick as well this is really good quality and then put on some gloss from NYX as well as Essence. This is one of my favorite gloss brands. 
and that's pretty much it i sprayed my face with the makeup revolution superhood spray and baby she is given bye guys <laughs>